in an attempt to end the discussion about whether the Earth is flat or not, Will Duffy has put out a challenge. He offers to cover the cost of a trip to Antarctica to one flat earther and one globe earther. When they observe the 24 hour sun there over there, that will be evidence for the earth to be a globe. If they cannot observe a 24 hour sun, that would make the concept of a flat earth viable. Geronism and Witsit already have agreed that when a 24 hour sun can be observed at Antarctica, the flat earth model will at least have a big problem. In general, the average flat earther will deny the existence of a 24 hour sun. There has never been presented a feasible model that could explain such a phenomenon on a flat earth. Although all costs of the expedition to Antarctica will be covered, I predict that no well-known flat earther will volunteer for such a mission. There is too much on the line for them. Their income, their fame in the community and their ego will be in the way of taking the risk. And I know for sure that many of them know that there is a 24 hour sun in Ant Antarctica, but they cannot admit to that. It would ruin their entire existence, not only on YouTube, Facebook and TikTok, but most likely also in real life. Therefore, it would surprise me if, say, Jaronism would enter in this challenge. But if he did, he will probably react to seeing the sun above the horizon the entire day and the entire night with... Interesting. Interesting. And with it, if he would dare to participate, will probably come up with a whole lot of word salad at machine gun speed something like this problem is you don't even understand what your claim is conceptual dilations physical privations or both space-time reifications you take a concept give it concreteness you misplaced it and then we took our paperclip operation nazi scientists put them in charge of space exploration signed the antarctic treaty within a year of nasa's foundation bring up the horizon get a conflation of actual and apparent location a spherical necessitation is the south north continuation or circumnavigation but antarctic exploration is, is forbidden with the cooperation of every major nation even if they would witness the 24-hour phenomenon they would start inventing all kind of silly explanations as to why this doesn't prove anything. But as I said, I don't think any well-known flat earther will participate, as no well-known flat earther participate in the $10,000 challenge of MC Toon about celestial navigation. Will there be an unknown flat earther to participate, you will ask? That might be possible, and if they do, and when they will see the 24-hour sun at Antarctica, they have two choices. Following the standard flat earth reflex by saying it is fake, it doesn't prove anything, it can be explained in the flat earth model without giving the explanation, or most likely, there is no flat earth model, so what are you trying to show me here? in which case the whole experiment was moot and a waste of money. The other choice they have is to admit that seeing the 24 hour sun means that they were wrong, that the earth cannot be flat and that they have to admit that the globe earthers were right all the time. Doing so will result in the immediate ostracism by every flat earther in the world. He or she will be mocked, called a traitor, blocked on every flat earth channel, cursed at and treated as a leper from that very moment on. In which case the whole experiment wasn't entirely moot, at least it converted one flat earther, but for the rest it still would be a complete waste of money. The whole caravan of flurfers will move on, uninterrupted and at the same steady pace. A flat earther wants to feel special. He wants to feel that he has knowledge no one else has. Knowledge that is worth fighting for at all cost. 
they are just one against a whole army of misinformed, indoctrinated sheep. And they are one of a handful other chosen ones who has the true wisdom. A flat earther cannot be converted, not with explanations, not with science, not with diagrams or mathematics, not with basic logic, not even with the rock-hard evidence they can see with their own eyes, all costs covered. They will persist in their nonsensical narrative. While I have spoken these words, you have watched a couple of unedited time-lapse videos showing the 24-hour sun at Antarctica, one of even a 120-hour sun at Antarctica. There is no explanation for this on a flat Earth. There is, however, one very simple explanation. The Earth is a globe.